Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy. Have you ever completed the design of a page on your Squarespace website on desktop, sat back and admired your handiwork, and then took a look at the mobile version and thought, damn, that looks like shit. Squarespace's Fluid Engine in 7.1 has been a game changer for making Squarespace websites more mobile responsive. But sometimes what looks good on desktop is never going to look good on mobile. Sometimes just eliminating an image or any block for that matter, or even an entire section will do the trick. All it takes is a little CSS and you can hide blocks or sections on mobile in Squarespace and improve the mobile responsiveness of your Squarespace website. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. First things first, you'll need to install the Squarespace block identifier extension into Google Chrome if you haven't already. I'll include the link below this video. Once installed into your browser, it's going to look like this. It's this one right here. If you're working in Squarespace and doing any sort of CSS, it's a must. It's super easy to use. Once installed, just click on the icon to see every ID from collections, index pages, sections, and blocks like these on your Squarespace page. Then you can simply click on the ID to copy it and use it in your own code. Super easy. And when you want to shut it off, you just click it again. I'm going to use this website as an example. In this section, I've added a couple of testimonials and then this image, and it looks great on desktop. But let's see what it looks like on mobile. Well, it looks pretty bad. And I could move this down a bit if I wanted to, and then it would look like this. But I don't like how it looks. I think it's too long, and it's not adding any value, and it's not even adding any quality to the design. So I'm going to hide it on mobile. So I'm just gonna stay in this section right here so that I can see the changes after I add the custom CSS, but before I save the CSS, I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna head on over to website. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to website tools, and then I'm gonna select custom CSS. And then right here, I'm gonna paste this code. Right here, you're gonna to wanna to put a description of the thing that you're hiding so that if you come back later, like months from now and you forget what this code is for, this will serve as a little reminder to you. Okay, so I've just put a little description in there. So now I wanna find a block ID for this image. Now, when I click on it, you can see it's right here, but I can't actually access it because this image is behind this text block. So first what I wanna do is I'm gonna go into edit and I'm going to select this text block and I'm gonna move it to the back. Let me save that. I'm gonna select the icon and select the block ID and you can see that it's just been copied to my clipboard. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to select everything from the number sign all the way to the end of the word here and I'm going to paste it. Okay, great, that worked. So you definitely wanna check this and make sure that you're actually hiding the correct element and then select save. Now I wanna show you what it looks like when you hide an entire section. So let's say that you just copied and pasted this code into custom CSS. You're going to describe what you're hiding from mobile, and then you're going to select the Chrome extension, select the icon up here, and you're gonna see that this is the section ID. So now we wanna copy the section ID because we wanna hide the entire section. So I'm gonna select it. You can see it's copied. I'm gonna come back over here and once again, I'm gonna start where the number sign is and go all the way to the end. And I'm going to paste the code and voila. And since I know that I'm hiding the correct thing, I'm going to select save. See, I told you it was easy. Now, don't you feel empowered knowing that you can manage this all on your own? It takes like five minutes. Let me know what other burning questions you have about Squarespace so that I can continue to offer free, helpful advice. Drop them in the comments. If you found this helpful, give it a like, consider subscribing to my channel, maybe share this with someone who you think could use some help with this, but most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.